Hello friends. COVID-19 pandemic brings lot of testing and trying times for us. While we are going through this historic period of human lifetime, I thought I should share five points, punch shields as the survival mantra for this pandemic. If you can follow any one at least even partially i am sure it will be the game changer for you in the fight for survival so dear friends the first point is less is the new more be a minimalist consume less and get consumed less what to consume less negativity low vibrations what to reduce desires expectations demands wishes use of different resources use of materials your own needs all these should be minimized so that you can become a giver and not a taker or a consumer now what to give lot of best wishes lots of love hope positivity enthusiasm prayers for others compassion gratitude helping others empathy sympathy all this can be given anything which will be useful to others just give away if you can help by money help if you can help in other ways other forms help but try to give whatever is you are capable of giving giving won't make you empty mind well but it will make you more enriched consuming less will make you burden free generate more energy within you and will provide more freedom give this a try list out where your energy is getting consumed where you are getting consumed and drained and what you are consuming the second point is practice calmness be calm make your inner self quiet and calm this will bring clarity within develop your insights will make you more alert and aware just imagine what happens when you throw a stone or a pebble in pond yes ripples are generated one can't see what is inside the pond until these ripples go away unless the water of ponds are quiet and still same way you can find solution to your problems only with a quiet silent mind it will also allow the powers of nature to come to your help it will allow your intuitions to guide you you will get more connected to yourself than before if you are calm and you will be able to understand yourself and others better as calmness will increase your sensitivity now let's talk about third third shield the third key it is to be responsible yes friends behave responsibility responsibly towards your own self your loved ones your society your community your nation be responsible about your acts and actions towards yourself and others don't run away don't make excuses don't play blame game be courageous and face whatever comes our actions also have reflections on not only people around us but also in environment on climate and the complete earth be serious about what about your actions be sincere towards your responsibilities remember your present actions define your future so don't kill yourself and think it will end everything the story is ending no by harming yourself or harming others you are inviting more troubles for your own self and yes my dear friends to keep walking to keep moving you will need immense strength which comes only from within 
So, follow this fourth key for it. Strengthen your faith. Faith? Faith in what? Well, faith in yourself. Faith in nature. If you believe any entity like God, then faith in God. Faith in the laws of universe that governs each and every moment of this planet. Faith in your own people, the people you, you love, the people you are living with. And my dear ones, to strengthen your faith in your own self, pray and only pray. To intensify your faith in anything you believe, please, please pray. One another advantage of this would be that for those questions and problems or those situations which seem to be not under your control, wherein you feel helpless and miserable, don't know what to do, at that time your prayers will work, they will protect you, your prayers will allow other natural powers to come to your rescue. By praying, you gain not only immense strength, but they work like medicines for your injured soul to be healed and for others as well as who are around you. So when nothing works, everything seems to be blocked, pray and only pray, earnestly pray, honestly pray. And last but again one more golden key is cultivate patience. My dear friends, be patient. To allow things to get settled, to get healed, to get success, to achieve your desire or to allow nature to work for you, you must have huge amounts of patience. It's said, good things take time to build. So my friends, wait, take it easy, give some time to yourself and others, be patient, don't lose the hope. Don't be restless and anxious. Just be calmly patientful. After a lot of in-depth thoughts and self-learning, my friends, I have realized these are the only golden keys to the gateway of happy life. I hope these keys will help you in changing your mind and thus your life and you. Even after pandemic, these five punch shields will help you go a long way in your life. Wishing you all the best. Thank you.